castles of Ireland. Ireland is not only known for its beautiful scenery, but also for its thousands of castle and castle remains. Whether you want to explore deserted countryside homes or simply want to experience life in a castle, let me take you to the best castles in Ireland. Welcome to All About Ireland series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss the castle where the Braveheart movie and the HBO series Game of Thrones were filmed. Number 10. Ashford Castle Have you ever dreamed of living in a castle someday? If you think that's a bit realistic, how about spending a night in one? Fortunately, the Ashford Castle is not only a castle, but is also one of Ireland's finest five-star hotels, giving an experience of what it's like to live in a castle of your own. Built in 1228, this Victorian castle has been expanded over the centuries. Eventually, it became a family house and a hunting lodge for the Brown family. In 1852, the castle was bought by one of the members of the Guineas, the famous Irish beer family. They expanded the castle and built new wings. Nowadays, the castle is a combination of medieval and Victorian architecture. The hotel rooms and suites embrace the noble history of the castle and each interior is as royal as the other. Number 9. The Rock of Cashel Home to an extensive collection of medieval architecture and Celtic art, this enormous complex has everything you could want in a castle experience. Despite its ruin estate, the Rock of Cashel will leave an unforgettable impression upon witnessing it in person. Located at County Tipperary, this castle sits on a hill overlooking its backdrop, making it one of the main focal points and surrounding scenery. Inside, you will see a 90-foot round tower that dates back to 1100, a 12th century Corvax chapel that houses one of the best preserved Irish frescoes, and a 13th century cathedral. According to the legend, this is where Angus, the King of Munster, was converted to Christianity by St. Patrick in the 5th century. The High Kings of Ulster ruled the castle and later donated the site to the Catholic Church. Today, this beautiful medieval architecture is one of the most visited sites in Ireland. Number 8. Bunratty Castle It is one of the most beloved and well-known castles in Ireland. Built in 1425, Bunratty Castle was restored to its former medieval splendor in 1954. The Greystone Castle is located in County Clare and has been furnished with antiques from the 15th and 16th centuries, showcasing the lifestyle of the powerful McNamara family. Inside, you will see tapestries and works of arts that capture the mood of those chimes, as well as enjoy the walled Victorian Garden and Bunrati Folk Park, a living theme park that recreates 19th century life in the area. Fortunately, it is possible for you to visit a castle and to join the medieval banquets that are held there almost every day. Number 7. Dublin Castle Located in Dame Street in the heart of the Irish capital, Dublin Castle has a long political history. The castle served principally as a residence for the British monarch's Irish representative, the Viceroy of Ireland, and as a ceremonial and administrative center. In 1922, Ireland gained independence and the castle was ceremoniously handed over to Michael Collins, the leader of the Irish Rebellion. Inside the complex, there are still important government offices, but it is also open to the public. So when you take a tour, you will be guided through the medieval Dublin and Viking excavation site. The former Viceregal State Apartments, Medieval Undercroft, and the Gothic Chapel Royal. Number 6. Malahide Castle Once you've experienced the best of Dublin, it's time to head 9 miles north to the 12th century Malahide Castle. On 250 acres of parkland in the seaside town of Malahide sits a fully restored medieval castle that was home to generations of the Talbot family for almost 800 years. A tour of the castle will give you a glimpse of beautiful rooms like the Oak Room and the Gothic Great Hall as well as a substantial painted collection and gorgeous period furniture. The Oak Room has a dark paneling and furniture that dates back to the 1600s. 
The Great Hall was built in 1495 for banquets and contains portraits of generations of the family. The castle is surrounded by a large park, as well as a botanical garden which includes many rare and tropical plants. Number 5. Donegal Castle this castle is located on a bend along the River Esk and was built in 1474 by one of the most powerful Gaelic families in Ireland at the time, the O'Donnells. The clan held it until 1607 when they fled Ireland following a failed rebellion. A few years later, the king granted the castle and its lands to Basil Brook, whose descendants owned it until 1898. Over the centuries, the owners added to the structure, the most important one being the manor house in Jacobian style, constructed during the 17th century. Then it was donated to the state and was partially restored only in the 1990s. Today, this castle is Donegal's major national monument. Number 4. Beer Castle It is a Gothic-style castle set in formal grounds with box hedging which is over 300 years old. Since it's home to Brendan Parsons, the seventh Earl of Ross, the castle's residential areas are not always open to the public. Guided tours through this 11th century fortress are only available from May through August. Inside, you will see furniture, tapestries, and treasures throughout the home. The main attraction of the castle grounds is Ireland's historic science center. On display are the Great Telescope, the world's largest telescope from 1845 to 1917, Ireland's oldest wrought iron bridge, and the world's oldest photography darkroom. When you take a stroll through the award-winning gardens, you will see rare trees, a variety of flowers, wildlife, and the tallest box hedges in the world. Today, Beer is one of the best castles in Ireland. Number 3. Trim Castle Sitting on the south bank of the River Boyne in County Meath, Trim Castle dominates this quiet town. Looks familiar? You got it! Because this castle was the location for King John's Castle in the film Braveheart starred and directed by Mel Gibson. The castle was constructed in 1174 and is Ireland's largest Cambro Norman castle, measuring a massive 30,000 square meters. It was a statement of power, a reminder to native Irish that the Anglo-Normans invaders were here to stay. This 20-sided cruciform tower with 3 meters thick walls was not only a fortress but also a home. As you stand in the Great Hall, you just can't imagine the number of lavish feats and blazing fires. And if you look out over the battlements atop the three-storied keep, you will see the River Boyne flowing below and the Trim's lush commonage stretching out as far as your eyes can see. Number 2. Lismore Castle Built in 1185 by England's King John, this Gothic-style castle is now the Irish home of the Duke of Devonshire. Although the castle is not open to the public, the gardens are the real showstopper. The spectacular beauty of the gardens is brought by rhododendrons, camellias, magnolias, and spring-flowering bulbs. The garden is divided into two parts. The upper garden is a 17th-century walled garden, the country's oldest formal garden, while the lower garden is more informal 19th-century garden with lawns, trees, and shrubs. You can also get a glimpse of the castle's contemporary art gallery. But if you're really dying to stay in this castle, you can actually rent out the space for as many as 27 guests. There, you will be served by the Duke's butler and his team. Isn't that amazing? And last but not the least, Dunluce Castle. This castle has been featured in the HBO series Game of Thrones. Dunluce Castle is an abandoned medieval castle that sits on the top of a cliff overlooking the sea in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. This castle is surrounded by steep drop-offs on every side and can only be reached after crossing a bridge from the mainland. Dunluce was first built by the MacKillan in the early 1500s, but it was taken over by the warrior McDonald's in the 1550s. 
The cliff top location was ideal for defenses, but it was proved to be unstable when a part of the kitchen fell into the ocean during a stormy night in 1639. Dunluce Castle was passed into the hands of Earls of Antrim, but it was left to fall into despair. Although the castle still belongs to the Macdonald family, it is currently managed under a deed of guardship by the Northern Irish Environment Agency. Amazingly, if you happen to miss the guided tour, there is a mobile app you can download that will take you to an interactive tour through the castle. For the perfect close to an evening, stay to watch the sunset behind the towers. Do you know some other castles in Ireland? Or do you have any requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.